Oh, hi guys. I just returned from a hunting trip with my Brigham Dormat SPR 300. You're asking, where is your hunting rifle? Well, regarding to Brigham Dormat, this is a hunting rifle. So, Brigham Dormat, the Swiss company, and it's not called Bruder and Dormat, it's called Brigham and Dormat because the Swiss that they are in the part of Switzerland and speak German, so Brügge and Tomme. Say it with me. Brügge and Tomme. Okay, so, but we're here to talk about something else than just pronouncing things correct and not correct. <laughs> and that's Brügge and Tomme selling an assassin's rifle and calling it a hunting rifle and special forces rifle. So, you may be wondering what the fuss is all about, and if I'm here to say, oh, Brigham Tomet is evil. No, I command Brigham Tomet for having the balls to sell an assassin's rifle. <laughs> because that's why I bought this assassin's rifle, or as Brigham Tomet calls it, the SPR 300 Special Purpose Rifle 300, because it's chamber with the 300 Blackout. Da -da -da! There you go, that's the SPR 300. That's version 2 of it. There is currently a pro version, but this one is a bit older, not, not the oldest there is. So, as you noticed, it's a take down rifle that snugly fits in this discreet case, <laughs> not my words, Brig and Tom words. It's chambered in 300 Blackout, as I already mentioned, and has a huge, huge, that's what she said, a suppressor. It's an over barrel design. The barrel length is actually just 10 inch to keep this one compact. And you can see the suppressor snugly fits under the rail. Foldable stock. And it also comes with a bipod, which is again quickly mountable because when you have a hunting rifle, you need something that can be <laughs> put together quickly, I suppose. Oh, oh, and also because this is a hunting rifle and you don't want to pollute your surroundings. There's a shell catcher that is mounted here on this side section. So they actually put a Bigatini side section on it just to mount this shell catcher. Jeez, I'm nervous handling an assassin's rifle. <laughs> assassin's rifle. So there you go. And fun fact, the magazines of this Gen 2 one are SIG 55X magazines that are just shortened to 10 rounds. You can still see the knobs to put two magazines together. And there you go. Isn't it a pretty hunting rifle? <laughs> okay. Again, you may ask, why am I putting Brig and Tomet here on the... Um, you are uh, doing bad things. I'm not saying they're doing something bad. I'm saying they've got balls for selling an assassin's rifle. If you don't believe me, that's an assassin's rifle. Let me read from the website. This is a quote directly from the website from the product description of the SPR 300 caliber 300 Blackout. Due to its integrated suppressor, the SPR 300 is more silent than an air rifle. The SPR 300 is designed as a quick takedown rifle, we noticed that already, enabling the operator to sneak into position as it fits a small and insuspicious carrying bag. <laughs> okay, again, just get the wording. They're saying to sneak into position. And they're calling this not a discreet bag. 
they're calling this a small and inconspicuous bag. Does a hunter need stuff like this? I don't know. Does police need <laughs> to sneak into possession with a carrying bag that's small and inconspicuous? Well, <laughs> obviously, it's already, you know, you know, fun fact. In the German version of the descriptions, they actually added that this rifle is very well designed for uh, hunting near urban places. So, you know, that you don't scare the bicycle drivers or whatever. So, this is an assassin's rifle. Can we agree on that? Yes, we can agree on it. But selling a sentence right what isn't the best PR you can have. And that's why Bürger Dormet finally noticed it's maybe not a smart move to call this an assassin's rifle. So they changed the description a few years ago in the meantime. And you can still all find the, you can still find the old description, but you can also find the new description. Let me read the new description to you. Uh -huh, it's not louder than an air rifle, that's the same. But here's what's different. The SPR 300 can be disassembled with our tools and stored in a discreet carry bag. So the bag is now discreet and not insuspicious. Because, you know, special forces can be discreet, but an assassin needs an unsuspicious carry bag. It goes on. Operation in populated urban environments are of a special concern for any military or police force and the SPR 300 fills a very important niche. Now they are saying it's for military and police force. Remember, when I read you the first time this, there was no mentioning of this being meant for police force or military in any way. And we're going on. This position rifle is also ideal for hunting close to urban areas or when the sound of rifle is not desired. The sound of rifle. The sound of rifle. Sounds like a cool song. I'm, I need to remember that. So, yeah. Now it's not just for military and police force, it's now also for hunters. So the assassin rifle is now a battle forces and hunting rifle. Dear Brüger and Dahmet, you have balls. You made this to be an assassin's rifle. Why can't you just stick with it? I mean, people know that you probably don't sell this to real assassins, but to people just thinking it's a fun tool and to uh, special forces and police that need this. But come on, why did you change the text? You're making yourself highly suspicious of noticing that you sold an assassin's rifle and now you're trying to change it. Stick to the original plan, please. Don't be ridiculous. We know what this is. Everyone knows what this is. Look at it. You may wonder, how does everyone know what it is if you look closer at it? Now, here are some very interesting details about this. There is no American-made part on this rifle. The stock, the grip, and the bipod are made by Israeli companies. Hmm. Why, if you just want to sell to special forces and military, don't want to be involved with US parts? Must be an import taxes thing, right? Okay. So we're moving on. All the parts here, they are not shiny, they have a flat matte finish, even the top rail. They are not alloxated, you like would usually do with aluminium. I'm not saying aluminium, you guys. Aluminium. And that's because you don't want light to reflect off this part. Because you want a rifle for uh, special forces that don't want to be seen in urban areas. Hmm. So non-reflective part, non-American parts. Easily, <laughs> easily disassembled. <sighs> yeah, <laughs> guys, it's an assassin's rifle. 